It is May the 18th, and our reading for this day is from the Psalms, Psalm 93. <clears throat> the Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed and he is girded with strength. He has established the world. It shall never be moved. Your throne is established from of old. You are from everlasting. The floods have lifted up, O Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roaring. More majestic than the thunders of the mighty waters. More majestic than the waves of the sea. Majestic on high is the Lord. Your decrees are very sure. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. Psalm 93 is, or, or the writer of Psalm 93, really is writing and he, and he understands this, this, this power, this, this majesty that God has over all things. But the psalmist also writes with a knowledge of history. That, that at times it feels, at least it feels, as though God isn't present. God hasn't, and, and for the Psalms, that's very cl clear as, as we read the Psalms. There are some Psalms that we call the Lament Psalms, where, where they are talking about, where are you, God, when the Israelites are in dire straits? So, so the psalmist understood that. But the psalmist understood as well that in the broadest of pictures, in, in, in the big overall looking down, if you will, God was always there. God's presence and majesty always in the end was what shone through. We probably would relate pretty easily to some of the lament psalms these days, especially with COVID-19 and it dragging on and when are we going to get out? And, and, and it's depressing, isn't it? I, it? It is. It isn't just this, though. Certainly in our lives, when, when we've been dealt with, with our spouse getting sick or a friend or a loved one um, that, that has has dealt been blown been dealt dealt an illness sorry struggled there right any kind of loss job loss and and so on and so on also kind of fall into this pattern of god doesn't seem present thing is though that's the beauty of this psalm. It is to step back and remind us that despite bad times, despite those moments, God has not and never will leave us. In the biggest of all pictures, it will be easy to step back and look at now, years from now, and to understand God was present. And to see that. Harder to see it now. But the psalmist reminds us that he is. And in fact, as we read the psalmist, it allows us then to depend on the fact that God is, even though we struggle seeing him, that God is still present and can still give us strength even when we are feeling in the worst of times. For prayer today, I'd like to share a, a prayer that you know I, or, or, or are familiar with. If you know it very well, feel free to say it with me. It is a prayer attributed to Francis of Assisi. Lord, make us instruments of your peace, where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. 
Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.